Good morning and happy Friday grocery haul day for me. Um, I'm actually standing in my board because I feel like I have been so organized with planning my meals for the week. I want to show you my meals for the week and then how that's converted into my groceries. Now keep in mind, I grocery shop and then I meal plan but I'm showing you my meals and I'm gonna show you my groceries. So keep that in mind. I don't plan my meals and then grocery shop because you miss the sales. I've gone out, I've done my grocery shop, I've grabbed all the sales stuff that did the cheaper price points, uh, the things that I'm getting low on that don't change in price points, and then I've planned my meals for the week. So let me show you what I've done for the week for our family. Okay, so we're gonna do fried rice one night with some chicken. I'm gonna do vegetarian stuffed potatoes, uh, salmon and vegetables, Chinese pork and salad with rice, um, spag bowl and some garlic bread, gnocchi and a homemade sauce, leftovers. And then this one here is actually gonna be some rice paper rolls that my husband and I will eat. I don't think my kids will, and so I put down meat pies, because worst case scenario, sorry, worst case scenario, my husband and I can have the rice paper rolls, and I can heat up some meat pie and leftover veggies for the kids to have for dinner. So that's the plan for the week. Keep in mind, there are eight dinners. So my boards come with options for eight dinners, and that just gives you a meal ahead, or one that you can scrap out if you don't want to do it. Just a little bit more extra prepared. So that's my plan. Let me show you the groceries and you'll see where all this stuff's gonna come from. Bit of a different grocery haul this week. Um, one, I do need to say, we are not using four of these anymore. I've gone two weeks now and we have too much leftover milk. So I'm actually gonna reduce my four lots of three liter milks down to three lots of three next week which is great because we do go through a lot of milk that's just what our family does um, but my kids have really reduced down having like their morning milos their nighttime milos and that sort of thing so um, and i'm probably not having as much tea i'm probably having a lot more water now so that will change next week i picked up salmon now if you have followed me for a while my husband and i had a very 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 bad experience with some salmon from Aldi's. I won't explain it, but it's put us off for years. And I saw this the other day and a recipe with a really nice sauce. And I'm like, mm, let's give it a go. So I purchased this here. You get four portions of it for $13. So I'll cook the whole lot up. And the plan will be to have the leftovers as a lunch portion the next day. I've also grabbed some chicken down here so my plan is to freeze half of that chicken breast the other two chicken breasts i'm going to cook so poach them shred them and that's going to be used for the fried rice now with the fried rice i've already got the rice i've got frozen peas and corn i've got onion and i've got capsicum so i'm set there i just needed a bit of the chicken and that other chicken i'm going to freeze uncooked because then when i thaw that out in a week or two from now i'm going to use that to make my mushroom chicken creamy dinner sauce meal so the chicken will go into the freezer for like a week or two from now i've also planned party pies first party pies my son is obsessed with these pies here they're super handy um so i like having them in the freezer and we haven't had any for about three weeks this is the cheapest option even when the other brand was half price these ones still came in better per 100 grams per how many you get in the pack so this might become son's dinner tonight tomorrow night we'll see how we go when we get home from um kindy he can get very tired my daughter likes them doesn't love them um, but my son could eat probably seven or eight in one sitting with veggies um i've grabbed a roast pork down the bottom here now this is the one i usually purchase when i do my pulled pork recipe for my stuffed um, sweet potatoes i have shared that recipe on my youtube videos before but i'm doing something different with this one here this one here i'm going to be doing a chinese inspired Chinese pork, not a sticky pork. Maybe it is a sticky pork. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but this is the pork here. It is a boneless roast shoulder. So you're not paying for a bone in there. It's purely raw meat. And it's $7.50. 
a kilo, which is a really good price point. It's cheaper than um, like chicken breast. Uh, I think it comes in almost cheaper than some mints at the moment. So it's, it, you can cook it in so many different ways. So I usually do my pulled pork with lots of spices and herbs in it. I'm going to do a Chinese sort of inspired one this week. So I have purchased, I've got lots of other ingredients in my pantry, but I did need to get some Chinese five spice and I did need to get some hoisin sauce. There is a lot more ingredients which I have in my pantry and I think, I think I'm gonna do a bit of a food prep in today's video. Don't think it, Joe. just say it. I'm gonna food prep. So after this, we're gonna get things cut up and put away. And I think I might start the process with this here with you all so you can see it, because I think it's gonna be yum. So there you go, I've said it, we're gonna do it. Uh, what else have we got? Feta, so I've got my usual Danish feta for salads, really going down the salad path at the moment because it's so warm. And I've treated myself to this one here. I really enjoyed this feta here. Full of flavor, bit of a treat for some salads coming up. Normal cream I've gotten, and then I've gotten some oops, yogurt for the kids. I'm going back and forth between yogurt, custard, yogurt, custard, and I'm using those pouches, the cinchy pouches. So in today's video, I'll prep those into the cinchy pouches. They go into the, into the fridge. I'm set, I'm done. The kids want a yogurt, pull it out, there you go. I find it a lot more quicker too, having them in the cinchy pouches, because today I can just prep it, and instead of having to pull out a bowl and a spoon and dishing it up every time, the kids just take it out the fridge, open it, and they can eat it. And it's great practice for when little man goes to school next year. Um, popcorn, this is the popcorn I get and use all the time. I make my own popcorn. This is $1.90 a bag, and I, I can probably fill like 10, 10 decent containers from this popping corn here. And I add my own flavor to it. Sometimes the kids want it sweet, savory. Husband and I can add like some chili flakes to it and give it a bit of spiciness to it. Caramel, salt, butter, whatever it is. And it's a great option to reduce plastics because that's the only bag you're using. Um, and it's a much cheaper price point. So something to consider if you're wanting snacks for the kids for lunches or just something. You know, you know they say they're hungry, but they're not really hungry. They just want to eat something. I think popcorn's a great option. Um, I got some bubble bath this week because the kids have been asking for it. So I just grabbed up a cheapie there from Coles. Now I'm assuming everyone's going through the same thing at the moment where strawberries are a dollar a punnet. Like two weeks ago, three weeks ago, they were like $4 for one of these. So I've grabbed six. But I have a theory behind it. Actually, did I show you my grocery bill this week? I didn't, guys. Ah, <sighs> grocery bill this week. This probably explains a few of the things I've purchased. It came in at $119.99, but I got $15 off, because if you spent over $200, you got $15 off. So I was like, we need to get some more stuff. And that's why I got six punnets of these strawberries. So these strawberries here are a dollar a punnet. I'm going to pull out the ones that are like a lighter red, prep them for the fridge, and they're really dark ones, which will probably go off quicker. I'm going to cut them up, wash them, put them into freezer bags, and freeze them for milkshakes and smoothies. When my kids have milkshakes, a strawberry milkshake, I add a little bit of vanilla, frozen strawberries, and some milk, and blitz it up, strawberry milkshake. For chocolate, I just use Nesquik. Uh, and then Esquik's been sitting in that pantry for God knows how long, but that's what we do. Or you could just use Milo. Um, but I've got six of these, and I thought that's a really cheap price point. Cheaper than buying, like, frozen strawberries. Um, so I'm going to prep those today. I got loads of fruit and veg this week. Bananas were dang expensive, but my kids are enjoying them. So I was like, I, I will get them for them. Um, some different things this week. So I, I eat tomatoes like an apple. And these ones here were a pretty good price point and we're having salad. So there's quite a few tomatoes sitting in amongst here. I grabbed a lot more mandarins this week along with a couple of oranges. My kids requested mandarins. The last time I got the mandarins, I sucked the juice out and that was it. So I've gotten more this time around. If I don't eat them, I will. Um, avocados were a dollar, so I've grabbed a couple of those. Next week, I am not gonna buy green apples because they're $4.90 a kilo. I'm gonna grab pears. They're $2.50 at the moment a kilo, which is a much better price point. Um, so we're just gonna have pears. And then I got the red apples, which I think was $3 or $3.50 uh, a kilo there. So the prices are definitely going up on some fruit and veg. Even seasonal fruit and veg, I find they're going up. Corn has gone up. 
I think I used to pay $4 for this corn. I think I'm paying $4.20 now. And that's the cheeky thing about your Coles and your Woolies and your LDs. They'll just put the price point up and necessarily not tell you about it. You got, you got to know your prices. Um, fresh garlic. I'm trying, whoops, trying really hard to stick to the fresh garlic. Uh, pumpkin. I don't know if it's a, in, I didn't think it was in season. That's a dollar a kilo. So I grabbed two of those. Um, I'm going to cook them up. We're going to roast them. We're going to mash them. We're going we're gonna to use them this week in dinners somewhere, somehow. Don't worry. Um, my spices as per usual. I, I felt like salmon this week, like salmon uh, salad sandwiches over the weekend. And this is, the, I personally think this is the best red salmon to get. Not cheap. It's like $8 just for that there. But I thought, why not treat myself this week? Treat us this week. Um, but I marinate mine in malt vinegar. First time I gave it to my husband, he's like, what's that? I'm like, it's malt vinegar. So I drain this out, put a couple of tablespoons of malt vinegar, mash it up and make a really nice salad sandwich with salmon. It's good. Um, cat food, dog food, because it was on, you know, sale, get the five for whatever. So I stocked up with them. Um, I grabbed some condensed milk. It was on my list that I didn't have any. And I liked just having it there in case there is a party. I feel like making something sweet. Um, I can use it for a variety of different things. I think there was some cooking I wanted to do and I didn't have any. So I have picked up one of those, which I'll probably use in a few weeks from now, not this week. Um, I did grab some rice paper rolls. So my plan with these rice paper rolls, you would have seen on my grocery list this week. I'm going to make husband and I some rice paper rolls using the, uh, the leftover um, Chinese pork. So the Chinese pork I'm going to serve with a cucumber, got two cucumbers, cucumber salad and some rice and the leftovers I'm going to make rice paper rolls with the Chinese pork and some like strips of carrot and cucumber and I don't know what else. I might put in there. We'll see what's in the fridge and freezer. Um, so I've grabbed those. There is a lot in here. Does it tell me? It says serves four. Jeez, must be for like all you eat. There's a lot of rice paper rolls in there. I don't think I'm going to use all of those. So I'll reseal them and save them for another time. I might even do some chicken ones with the leftover shredded chicken from the fried rice. If I have leftover chicken uh, and I don't use it, I can freeze it, which is not a problem to do at all. I've grabbed two bags of lettuce this week. So one is just the mixed bag that I can put in with different salads, sandwiches and that sort of thing. And the other one is a spinach. Uh, I did grab a spinach bag this week because I find that can be quite nice in salads or we have that with breakfast with eggs and that sort of thing there. I grabbed uh, the chili to do with the Chinese pork, a load, loads and loads and loads of beans. They were a really cheap price point this week. So I thought well, we can stock up on the beans. My kids actually enjoy beans because they play with them. They pop out the little peas inside and they eat them. So it's kind of like a fun exploring vegetable for them compared to just having a broccoli a piece of broccoli. We're past the, the broccoli looks like a tree. Now it's just broccoli. Um, so my kids are actually finding beans and snow peas fun. And then potatoes. Now I didn't get these because they're 25% less carbs. I got them because they were the cheapest potato this week. They're $1.68 a kilo. The next cheapest ones I usually get, I think were like $2 or $1.99 a kilo. So they were cheaper. So I grabbed them. We are absolutely bang on target with our bread. We are going through two loaves of bread a week. It's working really well for our family, so I'll keep it up. My son discovered this week we had a friend come over for a play date, and the friend that came over for a play date requested honey sandwiches. My son is now obsessed with honey sandwiches, which is fantastic because all I could get was butter. You guys, you guys know my plan to get my son into different sandwiches moving into school. So we like butter sandwiches. We like honey sandwiches now, and I'm trying to stretch them out a little bit further and see if we can do like maybe cheese this week or cheese and tomato this week. I'm trying really hard to get him to um, get through some different tastings. Uh, it's funny, my son went through a phase of when he was little, he would just eat anything you gave him. He was probably the best eater, and I was very proud of him. And then he went through the stage where he's like, he just wanted a cracker. He just wanted rice with nothing on it. And we're coming out the other end now, like he's really exploring foods and textures and understanding the taste and the cup. Now my daughter's going through that stage where all she wants is noodles, rice. 
just call him. So the other night for dinner we had a roast, not a roast, a barbecue. And I just like put, cooked up some corn. She ate my corn, her corn, and my husband's corn. That's all she wanted was corn. So she's now entering that phase of just being a little bit picky and fussy, but I'll keep serving up foods and varieties for them. So he's doing really well with his sandwiches. So I'm hoping as we get ready for like the school year next year, when I make him sandwiches, I'm going to get an empty lunch box. That might not happen, but that's my plan. Anyway, that is my groceries for the week. Um, it, it looks like my usual groceries, but the reason I think I spent more is coming down to a lot of the protein, the chicken, the salmon, the pork the pork is a big piece of pork i've got 2.2 kilos of pork i need to get like cooked up and sorted out down here um the strawberries there this is going to change next week so i'm looking forward to really cutting back on some of the milk we're consuming um so what i'm going to do now i'm going to clear this out and we're going to do some food prep. So I know you guys really enjoy that part of the video, seeing what I've got and then prepping it. So we're going to prep it all in regards to like cutting up the veggies, getting the containers out, getting the lettuce, the strawberries washed, chopped and put away. So we're going to do that. Cause I know a lot of you do it the same time I do it, even though the video might be sped up or there's voiceovers, you guys get like, Oh, I'm going to do that too. Uh, but what I'm going to do, which I've committed to is I'm going to do some shredded chicken. So I'm going to cook up two breasts of those chicken. The other two I'm going to freeze. I'm saying this, so I might speed it up. And then I am going to do the pork. I'm going to prep the pork. It's a roasted pork what I'm going to do. I will not talk through how I'm prepping it, but I will leave the recipe and all of the instructions in all the stuff down below for you. So scroll, flick down, and you'll see how I'm prepping it. So I'm gonna get that on to cook. And we're just gonna get organized for the week. So pantry stuff will get put away, milks will go in, fruit and veg will get washed and put away, and we're gonna prep it and get the fridge ready so we're organized for the week ahead. So it makes a lot of sense to get my protein cooking. I'm gonna do my chicken prep and the pork. Pork takes the longest, if I get it on now, the process has already started. So I just need to get the plastic and all the string off the pork and put her into the tray. You guys know I am terrible for measurements, but we do need to make a marinade sauce for it before it goes into the oven. So I need to combine into a bowl or a container to mix up um, some ginger. Two blobs of some ginger i might say uh, i do have fresh ginger but this came in the grocery shopping like a few weeks ago as a substitute so i was like well i may as well use it now um one and a half tablespoons of honey so let's go that looks like one tablespoon and a half it does say to use sesame seed oil i don't have any i do need to put in some soy sauce though so two tablespoons of soy sauce let's go one let's go two about right uh, the new one I bought today which is the Huisen sauce I need to add oh two tablespoons of ooh, that gotcha so two tablespoons oh this doesn't come out very easily does it ooh, one two probably a bit more on that one uh, two tablespoons of Huisen sauce I've got my honey ginger soy honey and some water so half a cup of water Okay, the recipe I'm looking at doesn't actually say when to use the five spice, but you do need five spice, so I'm making an assumption I'm going to have to put it in to the marinade. Oh, that smells nice. So I need five spice, oh, half a teaspoon. Is that half a teaspoon? I'm going to mix that around. I preheated my oven to 170 degrees. I'm going to pour this marinade over the pork, cover the pork with baking paper, then cover the tray with alfoil, and then put it in the oven for two and a half hours or until the pork is tender. And I'll go from there. way 
through, I want to freeze two of these chicken breasts. And then the other two, I'm gonna poach now for our fried chicken, fried rice this week with chicken. It's really hard to get open this week. So I just use a bag. I reuse these as much as I can. I'm still looking into some of those silicone ones. I'm just not convinced on some of them just yet. So let's do two of the bigger ones. That's gonna go straight into the freezer and this will become a meal in a week or two. And then these here are gonna go into a pot of warm water and I'm gonna slowly poach them. I don't like the water to be bubbling. I like it just to be at a really, really hot temperature. I find if it's like a boiling pot, the outside can become quite tough and the middle is still raw. So I slowly will poach those and then once they've cooled, we'll shred them. And that's kind of the hard stuff done. Like they're gonna take a while to cook um, roast off. I've got to check the pork and do more with it and I'll explain that when the time comes. But now I'm just going to food prep everything else, put them in containers, get them prepped, washed, full of freezer and all that sort of thing and get my fridge ready for the Show week. you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better mm -hmm. I don't fit to your bars Beauty queens without no gloves You can do better These are leftover couch from last week. I've just replaced the water. I do it like every two to three days. And then I still have a bag here. I don't want to prep any more until those ones have eaten. So I won't do much more there. Now these are the parts of the broccoli that people usually throw out. I don't. They taste like broccoli. They cook really fine. I'm actually going to use them for the fried rice. So I'm just going to cut them into like little strips, put them into a tiny container. And when I'm ready to do the chicken fried rice, these here will just get like fried off with the other veggies. And because they're super thin, they won't take long to cook. So all the other fr the veggies will be frozen. And then these little strips here will go in and they will cook up just fine. Okay, chicken has been poached. It took about 20 minutes. I've drained the water, it's cooled down. I'm now going to shred it. To shred it, I do it in my mixer. So I put the chicken into my mixer. I've got this spaddle, spatula, different kind of attachment. I have a KitchenAid, you can use any mixer. And I do a slow speed and it will shred. Doesn't take long, like literally 10, 20 seconds. It. Now, terrible angle because I haven't got my tripod. I've actually run out of containers. I'm having like a. I need to go through. I haven't done my free to clean out yet, guys, and I did promise I would do that. I'm going to put it into a bag. Okay. 
Okay, chicken is in the bag. I'm gonna let that probably cool down a little bit more and put it into the fridge. Let me show you my fridge. Cause I know some people like that. I did forget to show you the prep of my yogurts, but you know, they're prepped and they're, they're waiting for the kids to come home. Okay, the fridge does not look pretty guys, but it's done. Things are in containers, they're prepped. It makes it easier for me to grab the food instead of going, ugh, that just seems too hard to do. We have a lot of leftovers. So they're all leftovers, they're leftovers. I've got leftovers in containers there. So I've kind of got it sitting like at the front to go through. I have too much milk. I have far too much milk. So this week the kids are definitely gonna be having some milkshakes. I might make some more creamed rice, but everything is prepped, ready to go. Okay, update on the pork. It's still cooking. It says after two and a half hours to remove the alfoil and then like base the juice over the top of the pork and then once it's cooked, it's cooked and shredded. I don't shred the pork with the mixer. I will actually just get my feet, uh, forks and like pull it apart because the pork will actually be quite tender compared to the chicken press and how I poached it. Um, but that is it for today. I don't want to wait too long for you to see the pork being finished. I am doing a week of dinners, so you will see two dinners on how I use that and there'll be leftovers that I will freeze. But that is today's grocery haul. My food prep, it doesn't take long. If you just dedicate half an hour, as soon as the groceries come in, prep it, put it into the fridge, you're done. You are so much set up, you're so much better set up for the week than just having the produce kind of like raw and sitting there uncooked, unprepped, and you have to do that every night for dinner. I've got my plan up on the board on what we're gonna have this week. I've got my plan of attack in the fridge ready to go. I've got stuff in my freezer, stuff in my pantry. I am organized and I'm gonna share with you this week. So you'll see the video next week on what we have for dinner every night. It's very honest, it's very real. If we have takeaway, I will share it. If we have two minute noodles for dinner, I will share that too. I hope you enjoyed this grocery haul and we will talk soon. Bye.